What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're using a team that actually came first place in the Milwaukee region. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Huge shout out to the team creator and the winner of the regional tournament. Link to his channel and all that good stuff will be down in the description below. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in the top left corner, this team is heavy meta because like I said, it won a tournament. You got to use heavy meta Pokemon to win tournaments. It's just the best of the best. You guys know what's going on but we've been using some off meta teams on the channel as well so it's actually good to get a little change of pace use a full blown meta team and get you guys some good pokemon to push rank ladder but the belt is in that top left corner for our first pokemon for the team preview with the dark war and the black glasses we got oblivion wing foul play snarl and protect really good pokemon in dynamax and really great pokemon without dynamax so really like this pokemon all around cannot wait to use it Second Pokemon is going to be Groudon. We get the Groudon and Venus for combo on this team. The Groudon's rocking the Drought alongside with the Citrus Berry. Then it's got Protect, Precipice Blades for stab moves, Stone Edge for coverage, and then it's got Bulk Up chilling there to boost its attack and defensive stats. Middle left is Venusaur. Like I said, pairs up perfectly with the Groudon. You guys already know the power of this Pokemon. It's got Chlorophyll to double its speed in the Drought, Life Orb adds item, and then it's got Sleep Powder, Frenzy Plant, Protect, and Weather Ball. Fourth Pokemon is Regilecki over here. And Regilecki is just phenomenal with doing damage and with speed control due to its move. We got Transistor alongside with the Focus Ash so it doesn't get one tap. And we got Thunderbolt, Hyper Beam, E Web, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on this, well, not fourth Pokemon, fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Incineroar down here with the Intimidate and the Safety Goggles. Everything is fairly normal because Incineroar like this is just absolutely amazing with the Intimidate ability and then this amazing moveset. It's got Fake Off of Flinches, Flutter Blitz for big stab damage, Parting Shot to pivot out and for attack and special attack drop, and then it's got Throat Trap for another stab damaging move. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Bronze Island. Bronze Island's here to counter up Trick Room or to set the Trick Room for your team. It's got Levitate alongside with Leftovers, it's got Iron Defense to bulk up. Body press to actually do big, get big damage when you get the iron set up. And then it's got protect and trick room, obviously. As it Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the front code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this first place team. We're hopping into battle number one, and our opponent is rocking a really cool combo. He's rocking a Anger Point Tauros team with Frostlass to probably trigger the Anger Point. And then he's got some cool Pokemon with Ebelta, Eternatus, Landers, and Tokens. Okay, how should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like Groudon is an absolute beast up against a lot of different, or a lot of his Pokemon. So he might be my lead. I might lead Ebelta here too, and just potentially just Dynamax right off the rip. I kind of dig that. I kind of dig like Ebelta, and maybe even Incineroar. Maybe even Incineroar here, which wouldn't be bad. It would not be bad at all. I definitely want to lead Ebelta, so I'm going to lock in Ebelta. We'll go Incineroar, we'll go Groudon, because Groudon can just, you know, blaze a lot of different of these Pokemon. But I feel like maybe just like Regilecki or Incineroar with lead, and then bring Venusaur and Groudon on the back end. It's really calm on name. Like, that does sound good. I'm leaning towards Regilecki, because, you know, Regilecki can do some big damage. I just gotta watch out for that, what's it called? That Lando. Right, like, that Lando's kind of a pain. I might go Incineroar. I might go Incineroar. Just a parting shot, and Tim can work up on a few of these Pokemon. But, I don't know, dude. I'm liking to see web I'm liking this E-Web guy, so we're going to bring him in. We're going to bring him in. I feel like I couldn't go wrong with any of these choices. But Reg's like he's going to get the go. Let's rock out with him. Let's try to grab ourselves one here in battle number one. But you guys know the deal before the first battle even starts. You guys got to head to the comment section down below and answer a question of the day for me. That is, what ability do you guys think is the strongest in the game at this moment? Because you got abilities like Intimidate, obviously, taking over the meta. Pranks is a huge one in the meta. Inner Focus is pretty strong. You guys got to let me know which one do you guys personally think is the strongest one. Well, let's see who he ends up leading. He's going to end up leading the Tauros. The so Tauros and, and uh, Frost Lies are going to get the lead. I could slow him down, and I think I'm just going to Dynamax to try to get rid of the Tauros. Yeah, that could definitely be my option. You know, I can Dynamax. I can Max Darkness straight onto him. Let me see your stats real quick. Before, before I even get after this, let me, let me see your stats, buddy. Let me see your stats. Let me check your summon. I might not even Dynamax him. He has boosted pretty well in this special attack. Plus, he has Darker World with the Black Glasses. I think it's play. I think it's the play just to go into a Max Darkness and go right after him. I do not really care too much about the uh, Frost Lass. I feel like Tauros is the main focus here. Right, Tauros got to be the main focus. He's going to Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax. He does outspeed me right now. He does indeed outspeed me. As of right now. As of right now, he outspeeds me. I feel like he efforts E-Web. I can outspeed him. Do a crazy amount of damage with my... Uh, with my Yvelta, because Yvelta just does so much damage with Dark Moves because of the, the Dark Aurora. Plus, we have Black Glasses on top, so it's really, really big for us. Let's Dynamax our Yvelta. Let's get him. 
Let's get rolling. And then I have that focus hatch with my uh with my Regilecki, but I feel like we should be fine. I don't think Tauros can pick up the KO. But I feel like Yvelta should be able to out bulk. And then we have the focus hatch on uh, on my boy. Angry Point Tauros can do some big damage. Let's see if Frost Lass is gonna send this move. We're gonna go first. We're gonna go for an e -way. That did some big damage on that did actually a lot of damage on the We get the speed drop. I feel like Yvelta should go next after that speed drop. Beautiful. Yvelta goes next. Max Darsh is fine. This probably takes out, right? I think it could. It does not, but it still does a huge chunk of damage. And we know we have speed. So if Angry Point Taurus does not take us out, we could be thriving here. We get the special defense drop as well. We love it. Nice big old special defense drop. Frost Breath's gonna come through here. And he's gonna oh, almost KO his boy. <laughs> almost KO his boy. Angry Point is going to uh He's gonna trigger and he's gonna max out his attack stat and then he's just gonna eat a berry here. Berry's gonna come out here. He's gonna recover a little bit of HP, but I feel like we're thriving here. You gonna have to go for my Regilecki, please. He's gonna go after my Regilecki. That next quick's gonna poke. We have Focus Ash. I like where we're sitting. I love where we're sitting. I love where we're sitting. So at this point, uh, I feel like Thunderbolt should be able to pick up the KO onto that. Uh, actually, maybe not. Special Defense boosted. Actually, it's back to normal. It's back to normal, and I can drop it again. You think Thunderbolt can take out one of these guys? The Airstream could definitely take you out. And I think Thunderbolt can take you out. I'm gonna roll into it. It's back to normal. Let's see what he does. He might guard. Yeah, he guards. So good thing we actually slide this move over onto this slot. That's showing Thunderbolt's gonna get blocked and Airstream's gonna fly over this way. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. So nice little swap from us. We go for an Airstream. Should be able to KO, right? Yep, Frost Lights. Get on out of here. More importantly, we get that speed boost for these Pokemon. I'm not too worried about that Tauros. Like I said, I think a Thunderbolt should be able to take it out, no problem. And then we get one more Dynamax turn on the next Pokemon. I love it. I love it. Yo, Yvelta is top tier, yo. It's top tier. It's so good. I feel like it's like that lower top tier Pokemon, so everybody doesn't think it's OP. Like, everybody sees like Calyrex, Kyogre, and Sassy, and it's like top three, but dude, Yvelta's up there. Yvelta came to play. Yvelta came to play. He's going to end up going into Lando Lando, and I'm totally fine with that because I can just Darkness him. Pretty much pick up the KO onto him. And then there's Thunderbolt across on the slot. Run it. Run it. I feel like this guy's gonna cancel. I have an odd feeling. I don't know why. I just feel like we have the total upper hand in this battle. And he's just gonna cancel. He does not. Thunderbolt's gonna fly. Should be able to KO, right? Let's go. Reggie coming in hot. Reggie coming in hot, picking up the KO. I knew Reggie like was my call. Good thing I let him instead of instant or it's beautiful. Reggie like he's just doing work because that E-Web was huge for us. Darkness is gonna fly through here. And this is KO. Does not. It does not. I always expect Yvelta to do more than that. But he's not maxed out on attack. Or special attack stats. He goes for Rock Tomb. And we keep the sweep. We keep the sweep, which is gorgeous. We keep the sweep. We keep the sweep so far. And I'm going to drop a Hyper Beam with uh, with Reggie here. I think I might drop a Hyper Beam with Reggie. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. It's going to be Eternatus. And Eternatus is rather fast. It is a rather fast Pokemon. Is a rather fast Pokemon. And how should I play this one? I could E Web slow down Eternatus. I might just protect you. See if we can get cooking with this. You think Hyper Beam could take out? I don't know. <laughs> I want to try it. I want to try it, yo. Hyper Beam on my Reggie. Let's get ripping with it. Protect my Yavelta because I think uh, like a Dynamax Cannon or whatever moves coming into him. And Reg Lackey's going to go first. If this can take him out, we can block the shot. That could be huge for us. Look at that move, yo. That move looks ridiculous. Hyper Beam comes in hot. And we don't pick up the KO. God dang it. It was Meteor Beam. This guy's... Does he have Power Herb? Oh, if he's Power Herb, this is a great block. This is a great block if he's Power Herb. We're not going to get the sweep. He's good. He is going to be Power Herb. They like Power Herb, and we are going to block, but he is plus one on special defense. He's going to go for that U-turn. Oddly enough, he goes for U-turn. I mean, I guess he didn't want to go for the EQ, because he would have hit his Eternatus, and he didn't want to hit his... Uh, what's called either. Or he didn't want to go into a fly move. Or Rock Tomb. I don't know why he didn't go into Rock Tomb. I guess actually he's a bit lower. But yeah, I guess he didn't want to go into fly. We're going to bring out the Drought. We have Venusaur in the back end. So this battle's pretty much a wrap, right? This battle's pretty much a wrap. So I'm just going to Oblivion Wing. Take out you. And then I'm just going to drop a Blades. Nice little Blades here. Nice little Blades. But yeah, this battle's a wrap. We don't get the sweep, though. We were on pace for it. But my boy Regilecki ended up dropping out. But not a bad lead for us. We led the Regilecki alongside with the Yvelta. We kind of, I wouldn't say predicted, but it was kind of like evident that we were going to see the Anger Point Tauros alongside the Frost Eyes come out. So we just played up against that, which was really, really well. 
So he goes for a Dynamax Cannon. My Groudon should be able to soak that up. He does, but not too well. Not too well. We do have a Citrus Berry, though, so we get a bit more HP back. I think it's going to be like 40 some. 36 to. Oh, wow, that's a lot more. About 51 HP. Oblivion Wing's going to fly. We're going to take out Lando, which is huge. Allowing Lando not even to get off a turn. Allowing my Groudon to get off a turn. And if this blade's hit, it can do some damage. It can do some damage. And then at that point, I'm just going to protect my Groudon because I don't want him to die. I'm going to finish off this turn with this with my, with my give out there. Blades come through. It connects. Beautiful. Can this KO? Can it do some big damage? It straight up just KO's. KOs. But there it is, guys. GG's to our opponent. We start off 1-0. Let's hop through a second battle. Look to go back-to-back -back for you guys. Let's get rolling here in battle number two. Looking to go back to back, going up against a pretty strong team with a bunch of cool meta Pokemon. He's got Zassian, Grimmsnarl, Regiram Squad. Then he's got Rillaboom, Defiant Thunders, which we gotta watch out for because we do have Incineroar and I kinda wanna bring him. And last but not least, he's got Storm Drain Gastron, which I really don't see him bringing at all. Right? I don't see him bringing that Pokemon at all. Okay, how should I get this one? I could lead the Weather Squad. The Weather Squad's not looking bad here. It really isn't. I really do like the Weather Squad. Right? Weather Squad's looking dope. I'm gonna leave Weather Squad. I'm gonna go Incineroar, and I'm gonna go Yvelta. Yvelta. But yeah, I just gotta watch out for that, that Thunderous, man. I don't wanna. I don't want that Thunderous to defy and pop and then just roll from there. But we'll see what happens. We shall see how this one plays out here. Let's get it. Dun, 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 dun. Looking to go back to back, baby. Bro, every time I hear that song, you guys wanna like replay it? Like the beginning of the song does like the Ocarina whistle from Legends of the Ocarina. With that's got to be like a whole Nintendo thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's going to end up leading the Thunders, thinking I'm going to pop Defiant, but no, nah, that ain't happening. I could put Thunders to sleep, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Maybe just bulking up this turn, because I think he's going to set up a screen. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to throw you to sleep. That is my beautiful play. Turn one play. Hopefully, Dynamax is the Thunders. We're going to be sitting nice. Oh, we love it. We love a good old Dynamax. We love a good old Dynamax from a Thunderous. As long as he's not faking out, which I don't think he's doing. I think he's just going to set up a screen turn one. I think he's just setting up a screen. And if he does set up a screen, we get to put him to sleep. And we get some nice, lovely bulk ups from one. We get some beautiful bulk ups from one. Which I adore. Then I might just Dynamax my Venusaur at that point. Let's see what he does. He tricks me. He's going to trick who? Who are you tricking? That's the real question. Are you going to Iron Ball me? Iron Ball me. Can we go first though? We do not. So we're dead. We are dead. Venusaur's dead. No problem. Okay, so Venusaur's dead. I'm going to bulk up here. Um, and then Mike Dynamax. Wow, he tricked me. How dare you? How dare you Iron Ball me? How dare you Iron Ball me? That's fine. That is fine. We'll start off in the lower end, but still. We got to bulk up ground on. Run it up. Run it up. Okay, so from here, I could go into... Not Incineroar. <laughs> not Incineroar. I'm gonna roll in here and I could protect him turn one, which wouldn't be dead. And I could drop a slab of rock. Change up the weather a little bit. Um, what do I wanna do here? With the dark of war radiating. Definitely wanna dynamax you. I think I just wanna jump over. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna drop a rock here. I'm just gonna protect. It's not I'm dead, right? He just drops the lightning. And that puts me on my mission. So we're gonna do that. And then what are we gonna do? Hmm. I think of ways we can around this battle here. He does have my item, which is the uh, life orb. So he does have the life orb. I don't care if he swaps one of my Pokemon for the life orb. That'd be fine. That'd be fine, because I'd rather have it. Life orb is awesome. Life orb is just probably the best item in the game. I wouldn't say the best, but I feel like it, it, if you're looking to do, or like looking to have like a top tier team, one of your Pokemon. Life orb, right? For the most part, you know? Life orb is just so good. It's just so good. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna end up protecting my Yvelta. We do not want to max lightning drop it into him. We'll see how this one plays out. He goes for the airstream. So I guess he predicted to protect, maybe? Yeah, I think he predicted to protect. We're bulked up, which is beautiful. He can take the speed boost all he wants. He's already pressured on us. Um, we'll see what Grimstar is going for. Maybe a spirit break? Let's see what he does. Just for foul play. Ooh, 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 ooh. So he reads to protect hard. Smart play by him. How much can this uh, slab do? This slab can take out. That could be huge for us. That could be huge for us. So we slab down and it does take out. That's that's good. I think he does bring out Zath, you know, at this point. And might have the max guard. We'll see. We are plus one on defense. So we might be able to eat up something. I don't know. I do not know. I could hard swap into Incineroar. Incineroar would not be a bad swap. 
Because if we do swap, if he brings out Zacian, I think we just swap into Incineroar because I think we get eat up at that point because we have defense boost and we'll minus one him or we won't minus one, we'll put him back to even. But still, you guys get what I'm saying. Who's he going to go into? Let me Regiram. The Regiram's going to fly here. I do not mind Regiram. I really do not mind Regiram in this situation. I can just Quake here, take special defense boost, and I think I'm just going to Blibby Wing. Right? That does sound good. That does sound good because Granum might be able to outspeed him. Now we guess for a foul play. And we soaked that, but 110 damage looking scary. That life orb's helping him out tremendously. We do have Citrus Barry. Citrus Barry's gonna come in huge. I don't think he, he would be able to eat up whenever he has to offer. 110 damage. Oblivion Wing's gonna fly. Make it happen. How much damage are we doing with Oblivion Wing? Not bad damage. We'll go back up to full HP though, which is gorgeous. And if I can take out this Res Ram, oh my god. We could be busted. Go first ground on. He does not. Draco Meteor goes first. Oh, we don't eat. We don't eat. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. E, we don't eat that. Do not eat that. That one hurts the soul. Draco Meteor comes out here. He's probably going to hard swap. He has two Pokemon with Life Orb on the field. Two of them. Not one, but two. Spirit Break is scaring me if he is rocking Spirit Break. Spirit Break is definitely scaring me. Uh, we got to go into Incineroar here. I ha if I had to guess, he has Zassian in the back end, right? He's got to have Zassian in the back end. We're going to bring out Incineroar. Uh, who do I fake out here? Grimmsnarl? I could fake out Grimmsnarl. I mean, I'm really not worried about that, uh, that what's called too much. That Reg Ram has his minus two. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Grimmsnarl here. It's gonna be my play all day. He's gonna end up with Thrallin. Okay, that's fine. And he's gonna show his final Pokemon, which is going to be who? Zacian? He's gonna be Zacian. Zacian comes in hot. He basically steal a turn, but still he gets that swap out, which is just oh so big. That swap out's enormous. But he's probably rocking Earth Power with that Regiram. Do some work on him once more. So figure out's gonna come out here. We're gonna make him flinch. We are well, we should be able to take him out with a blue wing. Should be able to take out him with a blue wing. But my only problem here is now the Zassian can take out my e belt in one shot. Which is definitely scary. Like, one player rough just puts me in the dumps. It really does. It just dumps on me. Um, I'm trying to think of ways around this. I could protect, but then he can read the protect. And then he probably is rocking Earth Power with Res Ram. It's no good. It's tough news. How should I do this? How uh, is there a way around this, Jeans? Is there a way for you to win this battle? Because foul play doesn't kill in one shot. But Flare Blitz might be able to get some work. I don't know. I do not know. I really want a party shot, but I think I'm just gonna do this. Just protect. That's my play. That's the genius play all day. He does have Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor's scary, dude. <laughs> it just does so much damage, you know? Just does a ridiculous amount of damage. We're gonna protect you about the thinking a player off's gonna come in hot, right? Yeah, there's the player off. Nice little block by us. I could go for double protect. Might be my only option, but Earth Power's gonna fly. We should be able to soak up one Earth Power, right? We do soak up one Earth Power. You soak up one Earth Power. And Flare Blitz is going to KO us. Did we pick up the KO, though? Oh, my God. Incineroar. Incineroar. You're so close. You were so close to clutching up for us. He doesn't get aff affected by Buffets, either, which is tough news. And I do not have Sucker Punch. That's GG's. Unless he misses Flare Rough, it's 90 accuracy. So, there is a slight chance. And then I would have to go for, like, a Snarl or something. I hope that Snarl KOs, but... I don't think it KOs. That's my problem. So I'm just going to go Blue Boomin because I know Blue Boomin can KO. Behemoth Blade comes in here. Oh, guess. Okay, so he goes for the higher axe. Can we soak this? And he's just going to Draco Meter, but Draco Meter can miss. And we don't even soak it. We don't even soak it. But there's the first battle. GG's. I feel like that trick Iron Ball into the Thunder's Airstream really took out my Venus or well and set him up for protect perfection. But we go one on one. Let's hop it through a third. Grab ourselves that winning record. Hopping into our third and final battle, looking for that winning record. We're going up against an obvious Trick Room team. He's got Palkia, he's got Indeedee, coaching Rylu with Calyrex, Torkoal, Comfy, and uh, did I miss one? Torkoal? I don't know. I think I said everybody. <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously he has a Trick Room team. He has three Pokemon that can actually set Trick Room with the Calyrex, Comfy, and the Palkia. So I'm, I definitely want to bring Bronzong in here. Bronzong could be solid. I'm going to end up making him at my lead, and then I'm going to bring, uh, who else should I lead here? Who else could be a lovely little lead for us? Definitely want to bring like Incineroar in here somewhere. Groudon could be a solid lead. Groudon's not too shabby. You can do it a lot of different ways. But the problem is, uh, actually no, he, he can set the drought himself. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Groudon here. Well, I guess I could bulk up turn one, or I could go like Pokemon like you, which would not be bad. You just have foul play and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna end up leading him, bring Groudon in the back end, and I'm not even gonna bring Venusaur. I'm just gonna bring it in Silver. That's gonna be my play. We'll end up Dynamax and probably Gibraltar or Groudon. Probably it's more so Groudon because Groudon can do a lot of work. The only Pokemon that I really can't do work up, up against is gonna be a Palkia. But we shall see how this one plays out here. We are one on one. The second battle was rather close. We're hoping we can grab ourselves another winning record. Because uh, my last video with the Shift Tree team, we grabbed ourselves a winning record. So we're looking to go back to back. He's going to end up going Calyrex. I could. Hmm. Follow me could come out here for the trick room. Could definitely be an option. So, I mean, if he does do that, I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to body press. Or not body press here. I'm just going to iron defense. Just roll from there. That's definitely my play, right? Play. Dark Overlord's out and about. We are radiating some dark energy. And Psychic Surge can come out here. Lucky Surge is just flying out here. Let's get it. Let's get let's let's get after this. Let's get after this. Good old bronze. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna boost my defense here. I ain't playing around. I'm iron defensing up. Iron defense, and we're just gonna go for a nice little foul play. Into obviously the Calvex slot. And then if you follow me, me it over, that's totally fine. And yeah, it's gonna happen. So he's gonna follow me. It's gonna slide over. He's definitely popping trick room. So I'm thinking next turn. I'm thinking next turn I can protect my Yvelta. And pop another trick room. Just to counter. Because I am bulked up on defense. I'm bulked up on defense. Look at that. Yo, nice lovely defense boost here. And we'll see what he wants to do. Yeah, there's trick room. Yeah, so I'm thinking just protecting and rolling off of there. So he might just drop a glacial lance to get after it. Wait, my Dynamax. I really do not know. I really do not know. But I'm just going to trick him here. And protect. Let's say, hey, yo, let's counter this up. Even though Bronze on pretty solid in the trick room. Runs on pretty solid in Trick Room. I do like it. But you can drop Glacial Lance, right? And follow me again. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. How much is this? Oh, he's going to go for high horsepower. Which we have Levitate, you silly goose. <laughs> and it's free Trick Room change. So we get a free Trick Room change. We'll take it all day. We shall take it all day. Let's run it. Run it, baby. Uh, Let's do the same thing. Let's just bulk up my boy. Let's just bulk up my boy. My plan all day. Went for a high horsepower into me. He's gonna pop another trick room. I should have popped another trick room just to cancel him right away. But I'm gonna bulk up my 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 iron defense guy. I wanna bulk up my iron defense guy. We get off some big damage. And is he gonna pop another trick room? Look at that, yo. Plus four on defense. Body press can I might leave the trick room. I might leave the trick room. Do I leave the trick room? <laughs> I could leave it. I could leave it. We're bulked out of our minds. Uh, I'm gonna change up the trick room. I'm just gonna protect again. I'll play this one slow all day. Cause next turn I can snarl and just body press. Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds pretty good. We'll do that same thing. He's probably going for a glacial lance at this point. I just don't want him taking out my Yvelta. I just do not want that. What's he going for here? What are you going for, kind sir? Glacial lance coming in hot. Yeah, dude, my, my bronze on should be able to soak this up all day. It is a physical attack move, and we're plus four on defense. Look at this bulk. Look at this absolute beautiful bulk. This bulk is gorgeous. Oh my lord. The bulk on a Glacial Lance. Get him out of here, yo. Trick Room is popping. We return it back to normal, which I'm all about. And at this point, um, who is faster? That's the real question. At this point, I can just snarl to take out, uh, which I definitely want to body press in here. I could snarl to get off some damage on him. That will take out Ndidi, and then if he wants to swap it to a special attacker, that works. But yeah, he's gonna stick with the follow me. Try to pop another trick room. I'm cool with it. Cool because I think body press should be able to take out after a snarl, right? But snarl takes out Ndidi all day. Chips up. Oh my god, almost half health on Calyrex. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. And my boy Bronzong is coming in hot. They better watch out. Plus four Bronzong on defense, body pressing. Run it. Did not KO. Get out of my face with that. He pops another trick room. Okay, I don't know if I should stay in or leave the trick room. I wish I had like a first time priority move, but we are bulked up on defense. I think he goes into Palkia. I could Dynamax Bronze on, but it's just like not happening. It's just not happening. Let's see what he rolls into here. Wow, did he survive that body press? I'm kind of upset at that. I'm kind of upset. Torkoal's gonna fly through here. Torkoal's looking scary. Because Torkoal can one tap me all day. And I wonder who's slower. Torkoal, leave me alone. Um. Who's slower? Real question. Hmm. 
40. 40. <laughs> um. What do I want to do here? I'm just going to protect my, my boy here. And I'm going to go for a Snarl. Because Snarl can take out the uh, Calyrex. And it can do some work on the Torkoal with the minus one special defense. Drop. Okay. He's going to erupt. He is... He just slow us on the field. There's no way my Yavelta can stop this enemy. The Yavelta's gonna drop one. He just dies to that. Um. Hmm. What's my play here? I think my play would be to just uh, bring out Incineroar. Minus one, and then just fake out onto the uh, the Torkoal and do some work on him. Because Torkoal's a threat. Right? Torkoal is a threat. Torkoal's such a threat. Actually, let me do this. Let me do this. Let's reverse the trick room and just fake out the turtle. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. And then we'll save our Groudon for Dynamax. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, trick room's such a pain to play up against. It's, uh, it's, it is it is like a rewarding feeling when you beat a trick room team. When you don't have a trick room team. Like, my team's not a trick room. It only has bronze on to kind of counter up on trick room and allow us to uh, get a little bit of leverage on trick room teams. And yo, he's Dynamax. That's fine. That's fine because you're not taking out my you're not taking out my bronze on. Unless that's the Torkoal. Unless that's the Torkoal. Oh no. Dude, what you mean? He's maxing the turtle. He's maxing the turtle, and we are so dead here. Can you somehow eat this bronze on? He's dead. Dead. Gone. See you later. Dude, that's rough. And what's this thing going for? This one's going for a high horse power. He has minus one. You soak. Ah, oh, dude. Rough. And now we gotta go in the ground on. We gotta Dynamax ground on and we gotta get ripping. I'm coming for you, Torkoal. I'm coming for you. Glacial Lance is terrifying. Um, I could guard here. So I'm thinking of doing. Guarding and then just getting rid of uh, you. Because the Glacial Lance is terrifying. And we waste out some trickery. I'm with. Which I am with. Oh my lord. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. The Dynamax Satorical. Ruin everything. I thought we were sitting in the driver's seat. I was just like, yo, we'll change trickery back and we'll be thriving. But it only has a few turns left, which is really good. Really, really good for us. Hey, dude, if Torkoal wasn't special attack, we would have been able to output. We're plus four. We're plus four. We're gonna end up max guarding this shot here. And go for a flare into me. Thank you very much. It's in should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. It's probably Glacial Lance. Yes, sir. And we take out Calyrex, which is just a huge plus for us. Cool, cool, cool. We still have a Citrus Berry with uh, Kyogre, which is just dandy. We're gonna end up throw a chop in here. And we're gonna say bye bye to Calyrex. So we got Calyrex off the field, which is nice. And DD's already gone. He's gonna have to throw out his final Pokemon, which if I had to guess, it's gotta be Palkia, right? So if I can start getting special defense boosts on onto my uh onto my Groudon, that could be huge. It's gonna be Rylu, okay. Rylu coming in hot. I'm not worried about you, Rylu. How many turns left in checking? One? One turn left trick. Let's rip it. Let's go into this. And then I could parting shot. I could flare blitz. I'm actually just gonna flare blitz into Rylu. While the heat's out and about, let's try a flare blitz. Let's see what Torque's gonna do. Especially if Torque does go for the max guard here. I'm kinda curious. I'm surprised he brought Rylu. Rylu as a final Pokemon. You say if you're going to bring Rylu, you lead the Rylu. Right? Because coaching this attack and defense. So he was probably kind of only there for Calyrex. And he just never got the chance to bring him out there. Heavy Trick Room, baby. We love it. Uh, I, we love winning up against Heavy Trick Room teams. He's going to coach. That's going to give him that attack and defense boost. So attack boost isn't going to do anything because that's a special attack and Torkoal. It's just going to go for an overgrowth. Wow, that's Soak City for us. We soak that up all day. A Torkoal using grass move? That's easy soaks for us. He changes to grass terrain. Um, I think we pretty much just solidify the battle there, right? That should be GG's. This player was... If this thing's not focus ash, it's dead. Okay, never mind. I lied. It's not focus ash and it's not dead. <laughs> we're, we're quaking here. And then Trick Room's gone. So we have complete speed control. That's GG's. And this might KO. It does not. But still, now he's out of Dynamax form. I can send another Quake. Damn, dude, just get, just get on out of here. 
Just get him on out of here. Yo, we just countered up a heavy trick room. And Bronson came in clutch, dude. We were countering up trick room left and right in the beginning. Allowing myself to pop some iron defenses, set up a little bit. And it really led us to control the battle because we got rid of Indeedy. We brought Calyrex down to low health. And then that max guard from my Groudon. It was a su superb play. Superb play from me. Blocked that max player. Souped up the shots. Got rid of the Calyrex. Love it. Love it. Love it. But we'll drop another Quake here. I will drop another Flare Blitz. I think our opponent just canceled the battle because he knows Trick has gone and speeds him. Wait, GG's? Or is this guy going to stay and try to figure out a way here? Unless Torkoal can magically learn Trick Room now. That would be hilarious. He just pops a Trick Room. Dodges a Max Quake. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. But yeah, both these moves will be able to take out our, our, opposing, our, our opposing opponent's Pokemon. And GG's. He just got to stand no chance. Turtle? Fire Turtle? Or Legendary Ground Mythical whatever the heck this is. That like Lord of the Lava Pokemon. Who's winning? Ground on. <laughs> he gets that defense boost, and this is why he's soaking pretty well. He's, he's looking to do something here. We're going to end up quaking here. I still think this KOs. Even though he's plus two on defense. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Coaching did nothing. I think that was his last ditch effort. He was just like, yo, let me pop this. Maybe try to do some work with like Solar Beam or something. But we're special defense boosted. Anyway, it was just over from there. It was just all over. It was just all over. Flare Blitz is going to fly. I'm going to say, Rylu, thank you for coming out. See you later. And we grab ourselves a beautiful winning record for today's video. The Milwaukee Regional Team comes in clutch. Comes in clutch. We grab ourselves a winning record. And we get to show off each and every one of the Pokemon on the squad. We got the Yveltha, the Groudon, and Venusaur. Pretty much doing the heavy lifting. Regilecki is definitely a solid Pokemon all around with its speed control and big damage with its Thunderbolts. And then you got Incineroar and Bronzong, who are both like niche Pokemon that come in certain situations but do a lot of work. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go out. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.